Hey guys, back at it again for part 5 uh, of this video. This is the final video, I promise. I just wanted to kind of be as detailed as possible uh, when kind of show you how to do this uh, job. Um, so now that we have everything put together, uh, everything's good to go. We're going to go ahead and start putting everything uh, back to normal. Now, um, I was able to clean this bad boy really nice and shiny. Um, and I was able to use a 36 millimeter uh, socket to remove the seal. And just kind of give you an idea, I actually uh, ended up using my vise. Kind of put the vise kind of right there. Um, and then I grabbed that uh, 36 millimeter uh, socket. Just put it in there nicely and uh, just hammer that bad boy boom there you go i didn't even have to do anything um just joking guys i already had uh banged it out myself just wanted to show you guys um, now the next step we're going to go ahead and install the seal uh this is a uh, part number in case you're interested so we're going to go ahead and put the seal the same exact seal as the original one let me see if i can find it yeah here we go very similar same size show you guys right there right there and uh, what we're gonna do you can use the same socket um, just kind of uh, get it started and then just tap it a little bit or if you have a uh, luxury to spend a couple uh, dollars you could definitely go ahead and use a uh, seal uh, installer I think it's this one all right yes perfect so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, set this up and we're gonna go ahead and install this bad boy now um, you're gonna go ahead and want to drive it in at least um, when you keep on driving it in at least go uh, 0 0.5 millimeters so kind of like right there we want to go ahead and stop so I'll show you guys what that looks like let me just set this up real quick um, so I can kind of show you how to do this I'll be right back all right guys so now I already got my little drive um, uh, tool ready to go I'm gonna go ahead and lubricate this uh, seal with a little bit of uh, oil doesn't matter what specific oil you use just enough to kind of get that seal nice and and lube on the sides like so just give it a nice uh, spin of oil like so and we're gonna go ahead and just gonna put a little bit here as well so it can go nice and flush so and then I'm gonna go ahead and just tap it in slowly and again I'm gonna just start it in slowly um, I'm not gonna go ahead and uh, hit it hard but let me go ahead and put this uh, this here on my vise so that we can do this job correctly all right uh. all right guys so I got my little um, timing cover set up here and again I'm just being mindful of how I set it up so that way I don't uh, break this as so I'm just gonna go ahead and start this and just go ahead and uh, slowly start prying it in and uh, I'm using a mallet um, I don't want to use a hammer uh, but let me go ahead and show you how to do this real quick and just keep an eye on this bad boy real quick all right guys sorry about that I put you guys on my tripod give you guys an idea of how what I'm doing so just go ahead and uh, start off this bad boy like so and you want to go ahead and try to drive it as evenly as possible so that way you can get a nice uh, seal Let me turn around there all right there we go guys we are good to go that's how you want to go ahead and 
when you do put it inside, when you're driving inside, make sure it's a uh, it's a little bit uh, not flush, but a little bit down. This is at least um, point uh, zero five millimeters. Get that uh, nice seal there. And uh, once you're done, just go ahead and wipe the excessive part out. And we are good to go. Give you guys one last uh, look at how much you want to go ahead and drive that bad boy inside. Like that. This is what it looks like inside here. Alright. So now we're going to go ahead and start. Um, we're going to go to put a fresh coat of RTV seal on this bad boy go ahead and you want to go ahead and make sure you use the proper um, RTV uh, I'm using the black ultra black uh, maximum oil resistant gasket maker for this job and we're gonna go ahead and put a bead at least at least you can put a get away with at least a three millimeter thick bead all around go here here there there and here and then you could go here you could go around this and around this and around this so let me go ahead and get this uh, ready for you guys show you guys how it's done all right guys so once you get this uh seal started um you have about maybe less than five minutes to put it back on the vehicle uh so let's go ahead and uh do this real quick and i'll show you how it's done so I like to start from the bottom and just work my way up. come back okay guys so this is what the finished product looks like um, just go around put a nice uh, set of bead of RTV uh, all around and don't forget to put some in here as well because this is where the it's gonna sit also uh, so let's go ahead and let this dry for about two minutes and then we're gonna go and start start uh, putting it back all right let's go let's go do that real quick okay so we're about to uh, get ready to install the valve cover timing valve cover just make sure can't stress it enough make sure you clean the mating surface really really good uh, because once we install that uh, the timing uh, cover we can't take it off anymore uh, just because obviously we put some silicone um, on it but just want to point that out uh, so let's go ahead and get that bad boy and we're gonna go install it uh, here we go. And also take the time to clean your uh, valve cover bolts. I don't know if you noticed, but when I took these off, these were filled with grime. Um, all I did, I just got a, a water bottle, empty water bottle. I poured a little bit of uh, degreaser, uh, put all these bolts inside the water bottle, shook it really hard, and look how clean they came out. Way better. Okay, so let's go install that. Uh, Back cover. Let's see if I can get you guys some uh, a really good view here. I'm gonna do that. Bear right with me here. Okay, there we go. And um, I'm gonna put just hand tying these bolts. Once I install the uh, timing cover, I'm gonna go ahead and put one here, one there, one at the bottom, just so that way I can get them started. And then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, install all these 
and I'm going to put the torque specs on each of these as I go. Uh, again, clean these bad boys up. Uh, I can't stress it enough. Sometimes these get uh, debris, and when you start to uh, tie them up, um, you get a you get debris in there and think it might be torque, but it's not. So let's go and do that real quick. So I'm just going to go ahead and install this. I'm going to make sure that uh, I first put it inside um, the crankshaft. And I'm going to hold it from the top. There we go. And I'm just keeping my eye on it. As it goes in. Oh. You know what, I forgot to take one bolt, bear with me, I forgot to take a bolt. Alright, I accidentally left that in there just because I didn't want to lose the spot before I put it in there. Oh, let me get you guys back here. Alright. Now that I installed it guys, I'm going to go ahead um, and start putting the bolts. Um, and again, I'm just hand tying these for now. Just so that way I can uh, align this uh, valve cover as best as I can. So take your time while you're doing this. Don't rush it. There we go. Hopefully I can give you guys an idea how that's going. Again, the very important thing, I want you to guys get that. Make sure that the bottom seal is nicely flush in there. And again, I'm just going to go ahead and just uh, install these bolts as best as I can. So that way they can at least line up and get this uh, timing cover nice and uh, tight. So let me go and do that real quick and then I'll come back. Okay, so I've hand tightened the, all the bolts around the uh, timing cover. I just want to kind of let you guys know, according to the service manual, um, you want to go ahead and torque the small bolts uh, to 8 foot pounds. Uh, but you want to go ahead and start in a, kind of like a, start from the inside. So you want to go ahead and start with this one. When you when you torque everything down, this bottom one, and then this one, and then you want to go ahead in a crisscross uh, direction. You want to uh, start torquing this one, this one, and then you know you keep on going uh, crisscross all the way to the top. And you also want to do that for the bottom. You want to go ahead and just crisscross them when you start torquing them uh, like so. I do want to mention that. Um, Again, these small, uh, there's about maybe 18 uh, small bolts. Those go uh, torque to eight foot pounds. Uh, these three uh, bolts, these are 13 millimeter bolts. According to the service manual, uh, these get torqued to 35 foot pounds. And there's this 12 uh, millimeter uh, bolt. This gets torqued to 20 foot pounds according to the serv service manual and um, also there is a uh, 17 I'm sorry there is this bottom one this top one right here this also uh, this is a 13 millimeter uh, bolt this gets torqued to uh, 35 foot-pounds 
So again, uh, go ahead and torque those appropriately. Make sure you kind of go, you start from the uh, first two inside ones and then make your way up as you go. And also I'll put the torque spec on this bolt that we had to take out that's holding on the uh, tensioner. We had to remove that one so I'll put the torque spec up here on the top for you guys. Uh, but basically guys, this is going to conclude um, my video. Um, I just don't want to you know, drag it on. Everything else is straightforward. Make sure that when you go ahead and install the valve cover, um, you buy the appropriate um, seal gasket for this. Uh, this one is a Felpro. This is a part number in case you're interested. This is about maybe 15 bucks at your local auto parts store. <coughs> But just kind of want to let you guys know once you put everything back together um, you want to go ahead and uh, once you're ready to torque um, the the camshaft pulley make sure I repeat this make sure you remove the special tool and make sure you remove the special tool that's right there and you want to go ahead and put the pulley and you want to go ahead and torque it uh, use a uh, pulley holder to torque it to 75 foot pounds once you torque it to 70 foot pounds you want to go ahead and do a 90 degree angle last tight so if you start it if uh, you start here with your ratchet you want to go ahead and uh, stop right there or if you have a angle torque um, you could go ahead and uh, do it uh, set up for 90 foot pounds again guys everything else is straightforward um, I'm going to install this uh, new um, mount, but I, I haven't received the part yet. Also, I'm going to install the water pump. I wanted to first install uh, the valve cover gasket. I'm going to wait for it to um, dry. And I'm going to go ahead and remove uh, these three 8mm uh, uh, bolts. But before I even do that, I'm going to go ahead and drain the coolant. Um, that's the reason why I wanted to install this because I don't want it to uh, make a mess and it's going to score out a lot of cooling and um, you know kind of interfere with um, my job here so I hope this video helps you out guys if you guys like it thumbs up subscribe comment I'm always um, looking for feedback uh, in case you guys also need any support leave a comment as well again thank you guys so much for watching have a beautiful rest of the day enjoy your day guys